Good afternoon. It's Sunday afternoon here in Buenos Aires, and we are in the iconic neighborhood of Palermo, which, if you're traveling from abroad, has got to be one of the first neighborhoods that you land in upon arrival. This is a big neighborhood, the biggest of the 48 neighborhoods in the city. And we're going to spend a few hours this afternoon walking around just the part between Plaza Serrano, Plaza Armenia, and Plaza Italia. And we'll start by wandering around this part of Plaza Armenia and Plaza Serrano where they have uh, an outdoor market. They close the streets. Uh, all the restaurants have tables outside. And then we'll head down to one of my favorite coffee shops here called La Tente, which is one of the first specialty coffee places in all of Argentina. Before we head over to Plaza Italia, and there we're going to see the botanical gardens and go to an outdoor book market, which has been in Plaza Italia for the last 40 years. After that, I think we'll meet up with my friend Miguel for dinner at a Venezuelan restaurant here. So, let's get started. <laughs> I think this part of the city, I think this neighborhood is the most touristy in uh, all of Buenos Aires. And it's not just that foreign visitors come through here, which of course we do, but uh, people from all over Buenos Aires come to Palermo to shop, go out to cafes, restaurants, all over greater Buenos Aires area, actually, they come. It's got the most bars, the most restaurants, the most Airbnbs. It's got, you know, museums and art studios, tons of little shops. It's sort of have a lot of attractions to spend the afternoon. So it's unlike any other neighborhood in Buenos Aires. And I think only one or two other neighborhoods even compare in terms of the yeah, quantity of restaurants and bars and things like that here. So it's a neighborhood you're bound to visit. It's a, you're bound to spend a lot of time here. You're bound to love it, and you're bound to hate it at times as well. But, good place to spend a Sunday afternoon. My favorite things about this coffee shop, and I guess it's probably because I've been coming here for so long, is you always run into good people that you know here. So, uh, Liam, what's your relationship? What is your relationship with Latente? Well, I married the owner. Started uh, started chatting up with the uh, new girl behind the coffee machine, and uh, uh, she turned out to be the owner, Cheja, uh, the famous Cheja, and. Uh, Rest is history. I'm here. I'm here for vacations right now, and on Sundays I like to just do the a lap around Palermo, visit a couple of my favorite coffee shops, a couple of uh, my favorite shops, and uh, yeah. Liam now lives in New York. Literally, he lived here for how, many, how long? Did you live here? Four years. Four years, and then moved to New York. How long ago? Two and a half years ago. Well, there's nothing like La Tente in New York, so there's nothing like what? La Tente. In New ah, York. Why is that? What's the difference? 
you know, the, the coffee shops is more of like a, it's more of like a place to get some work done. Uh, people, people aren't really looking to chat about whatever on a Sunday yeah. in the coffee shop. They, they have people to, people to see, things to do. One last question. Why did you, when you woke up this morning, decide to wear my t-shirt? Good to see you, Liam. I'm going to the book fair at uh, Plaza Italia, and then I'm going to the uh, botanical garden. Yeah, you can come to either. Ooh, uh, no, I gotta, I gotta take care of my kid, but um, listen to duties of a father. I'll, I'll catch you later. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Leo. <laughs> Uh, it's lovely to come here and just look through the uh, used books. See if I can find a book. Hace mucho que estás a cabo. Sí, más o menos 25 años. Arrancamos trabajando con libros. ¿Cómo arrancaste? Como los libros, ¿por qué? Eh, ¿Qué te motivó? No, eh, me gustaban los libros, vine a la feria y, y me quedé, me quedé con lo, trabajando. Y uno va aprendiendo y a medida que vas aprendiendo te vas enamorando del libro. ¿Cómo aprendiendo cuál título se vende? A, sí, aprendiendo un poco, también tenés que leer un poco para poder recomendar, tenés que. Eh, bueno, pero el libro te va atrapando, no es muy difícil que te atrape el libro. Yeah. Y eh, por local aproximadamente eh, tenés unos 20.000 libros, somos 40 locales, así que tenés un numerazo. Era mucho, había mucha más gente porque no se vendía tanto por internet. Entonces venir a la feria era como venir al paraíso del libro. Y tenías aproximadamente... No sé, poner en marzo había cola de 10 personas esperando para, que, para atenderte. Hay otras ferias, pero varían en libros y otras cosas. Pero la única que se mantuvo solo de libros es esta. Entonces es como un atractivo eh, particular. Eh, y bueno, tratamos de mantenerla así durante mucho tiempo. Uh, ¿Cuál bueno, tipo de libros vos te gusta leer? Y te leo variado, eh, porque no leo algo después no te puedo, si leo algo puntual siempre lo mismo después no te puedo recomendar nada entonces capaz te leo una novela, después te leo algo de literatura latinoamericana, después te leo un autor de europeo entonces para tener un poquito en la cabeza de todo para poder recomendar un poquito de todo right. tu casa está lleno de libros sí mi casa, en depósito, <laughs> en el baño, en la cocina en toda la... yo estoy acá para comprar un libro, ¿cómo me recomiendas? y que, según lo que te gusta leer a vos ¿Qué te gustaría leer? Mm. ¿O qué? No, eh, mira, yo quería uno que me va a dar eh, sobre Argentina. Uno de Argentina, uno, un escritor argentino eh, que me va a enseñar algo de Argentina. Puede ser ficción o no ficción. Lo que ponele, cuando buscan li, eh, literatura argentina, te puedo recomendar algo que, que se identifique con, ponele, con cosas de Buenos Aires. Que vos, si estás en Buenos Aires, te vas a identificar. Qué sé yo, obviamente recomiendo cosas fáciles, lindas. Ponele Alejandro Dolina, eh, que es un autor bien de acá, Fontana Rosa, que describe todo lo que es el. Ponele, describe mucho fútbol argentino, eh, literatura de. Bien de barrio, bien de. Vamos con eso. Fontana Rosa. Ah, claro, sí, bueno, sí. Vamos a buscar Fontana Rosa entonces. Eh, Fontana Rosa, nada de otro mundo. ¿Qué te puede tocar? Algún cuento de tango, algún cuento de. de algunas cosas lindas que suceden en Buenos Aires. Este está más bueno, que trae un poquito de todo. Vamos con eso.
Botanical Gardens are a real oasis in the middle of a really busy part of Palermo. We're just steps from Plaza Italia, which is where we started, and there's actually big avenues all around this Botanical Gardens. So it feels really comfortable here, but we're actually really close to a really busy part of the city. son was first born we lived right in this neighborhood and uh, I would bring him down here as a baby just so he get a little bit of contact with nature and just get away from the cars and the traffic just when he was a real little baby just let him touch some green The gardens were inaugurated in 1898 thanks to the dedication of the renowned botanist, architect, and landscape architect, Carlos Thays. The most significant contribution of the botanical gardens and Carlos Thays was this was the site where Thays rediscovered how to germinate yerba mate for industrial production. Yerba mate was first propagated and industrialized by Jesuit missionaries in the province of Misiones in northeastern Argentina. That knowledge was lost when they were expelled by Spain in 1776. Thays was able to germinate some seeds of yerba mate in 1895 on this site. Today, more than 90% of Argentines drink yerba mate, and Argentina is the largest producer and exporter of yerba mate in the world. And in one little corner of the gardens, you can see a few of these yerba mate plants firsthand. We've got some time to kill before we meet up with Miguel for dinner, because I've had a long afternoon best things to do in a city park is take a nap in a city park. So we're going to take advantage of the quiet of the botanical gardens for a couple hours. Good tip if you ever go to the uh, Jardin Botanical, to the Botanical Gardens, is that just a couple of blocks from there is a really good Venezuelan restaurant. And they're always open. Cheap food, cheap cocktails. <laughs> Highly recommend it. We're gonna meet my buddy Miguel there right now. He should be there. Uh, there he is. And the man. Miguel. Oh, wow. I don't <laughs> What do you think? Pretty good. Good one, right? Pretty, pretty good. I, I, I have low expectations, to be honest. <laughs> good thing to have. I'm yeah. And when I got here 10 years ago, 12 years ago into the city, there weren't a, there wasn't a single Venezuelan restaurant in the entire city. There wasn't any Venezuelans. And now obviously with all the immigration from Venezuela over the last couple of years, there's hundreds of thousands of them in the city. A beautiful thing that they brought is some excellent Venezuelan food, including this great arepa that I'm gonna eat right now. And vegan right now. Huh? And it's a vegan, it's, it's a, a vegan, vegan arepa even. So. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. <laughs> How's it taste? That's good, man. It's great. That's good, yeah, bro. Nice. We put too much on everything. Yeah, man. How long have you been here? Uh, at Argentina? Yeah. Uh, four years. I, I think I, I, yeah. Next month, it, it will be four years. Four years. And did you come straight here from Venezuela? 
Oh uh, no, I made a travel like five days travel uh, uh -huh. to Brazil with uh, with two friends of mine. Uh, it was five five days and then I just came to capital. Five days like what on a bus? Like, no, it was like there? bus, plane, wait at the air at the airport, yeah. plane, wait at the airport like twenty hours, uh, plane and then bus. Fun. Fa <laughs> It's it was tough, it, but it yeah. wasn't that that bad, you yeah. know. I just enjoy my travel, you know. I at, at that moment I enjoy the present. I was just thinking what's going ahead and just enjoying the moment. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm going there and I'm going I'm knowing places. Yeah, and how do you like in being Buenos Aires? It's pretty good. It's like it's the best place I could ever choose chose. Uh, to make my like my first steps out of my country. I mean, I have traveled around the world because of my dad when I was a child, but this is the first time that I traveled by myself, yeah, yeah. And I'm totally by myself, and I'm, I really like Argentina. I love Argentina. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, oh, that's pretty I, good. Man. I really love Argentina. And Argentines, like Argentina, like people, I love them. They are so so open up with with uh, us. You know, with me, with all the Venezuelan people, yeah. we like each other. Yeah. And you still have family back in Venezuela? Who's there? Yeah, uh, my dad and my mom. Uh -huh. My mom visited us a year ago when it, when it was all the pandemic. Sure, I met her. Yeah, yeah, met her. you met her. Yeah. <laughs> she really likes you. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, my sister is in here for like two years. I, I think she's gonna be. I think one year and a half or maybe two years, but yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be two years. Yeah. I remember, I remember when she first came here. Yeah, yeah, it gotta be two years. Yeah. So, and, uh, and how is your family doing in Venezuela? Venezuela? They're not as bad as, as it could be at Venezuela. They yeah. have like really good jobs. Yeah. And for, for what it's worth, you know? Yeah. It's, it's not the best thing. I mean, I, I wanna to make him make them come and live here i gotta convince them but i think i'm i'm, I'm going places I'm, uh, you're gonna get him yeah i'm i'm gonna get him uh, good. i'm gonna get him yeah. good and uh what do you think of the arepas here that they made us yeah i for a yeah. venezuelan perspective yeah i could make it bigger <laughs> bigger like, bigger yeah they're smaller yeah. yeah they're kind of small for the price but it was good the cuba libre was pretty good yeah. Pretty, pretty good from yeah, yeah, Santa good. Teresa, I think it was. Uh, but um, I'm, I'm good with the place. This is the first time I came here. I gotta say, this call, this this place is yeah. called Chacaito. Uh -huh. It's a metro stage, like a subte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a stop, you know. Subway station. It has, it's a subway station yeah. at Caracas, and if you see it, it has that look. Of that sub subway station, and it's called Chacaito. Arango, I think it's that, that's Arango. Uh, comedian, host, comedian, baseball player, actor, it's like that, that, yeah, you have to, you gotta have to. Now my uh, afternoon in Palermo is quickly turning into an evening out in Palermo. Which is appropriate because Palermo is the neighborhood with some of the most active nightlife in uh, all of Buenos Aires. So I'm very glad to have this evening, Sunday evening with Miguel, to go I out and get a, we, we, we to go get a couple drinks. For like, I know. Like a year? So this is great. Yeah. Nice to have a Sunday evening and have a couple of drinks with you, my friend. Thank you, Alfred. This is, this is some of my favorite street art in all of Buenos Aires right here. Good. It's really good. It may, that's the place to park it. There we go, yeah. No, I mean, I go. Shit. Sweet. 
was the good. fanciest bar I've nice been to bartender. in Buenos Aires. Nice bartender. It was yes, good. Sir. All right, let's see what's next. Yes. Well, let's go in, yeah. Martín, dale. Mar, Martín es mi nombre artístico. Me llamo Martín y mi nombre artístico es Martín con doble T. Martín. Martín. Dale, dale, bien, bien, listo. Sí, ¿Cómo lo llama tu estilo de música que lo cantas, que lo bailas? ¿Cómo será? Eh, es una mezcla de cosas. Pero... Ah, eso se nota. Me encantó claro. igual este, yo creo que me encantó. Pero bueno, me, encantó. Eh, me gusta el pan, eh, me gusta el pop también. Ajá. Eh, y me gustan las cosas. Hago cosas con sonidos industriales, sonidos como de metales, chapas. Para, para, para. ¿Qué quieren entrar? ¿Qué te ¿Qué te pongas? A ver. Nosotros vinimos acá, tomamos un trago acá a la vuelta y venimos acá caminando la vuelta y vimos Para que una, una, claro. sí. un montón de gente ahí en la calle y entramos y hubo como pa, 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 pa y era, a mí me encantó. Qué bueno. ¿Y llegaron a ver el videoclip? ¿Pero? ¿Llegaron a ver el videoclip? No, 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 no. no. Pasamos ah, un videoclip mío nuevo Ajá. Que, que se estrenó el viernes y por eso después toqué. Ah, excelente, listo. Bueno, lo voy a ver, lo voy a ver, lo voy a ver. Dale, hermano, dale, gracias, eh. So I think this is a good place to say goodbye. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. What's up? Well, uh, it's another Sunday in Buenos Aires. Yeah. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay. Thanks.